All right. Now recording. All right, share screen, sharing. All right, everybody. Today, we are talking about the exciting news of Moxie Works. It's been in the works of Moxie Works for uh, a couple years now. And uh, Realogy, which is now called Anywhere, is a, a company that owns Century 21, Coldwell Banker, ERA, Sotheby's, Better Homes and Gardens. And uh, so a conglomerate, no one sells more homes than our parent company, and no one has more agents than us. So what's great about being part of a great parent company, like real anywhere slash Realogy, is that the best tools, technology, training is out there. So no matter what anybody says, yes, there's great companies, there's great brands out there. But if there is something that needs to get to agents that's going to be worth it, Realogy slash anywhere gets it for their business. Because bottom line, Century 21, Realogy slash anywhere does not make any money unless you and we sell things. They don't charge you to be part of our office, just like some other companies out there. So good companies, different way of doing business. They have, they charge you. So that it's, you're going to make a little bit of money on it, even if you don't sell, but not here. We got to make sure you have everything and equipped with everything. So, uh, Deb, I will let you take, because you, this is brand new, and you know more about it than I do. So I'll let you know. <laughs> I know you some. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm learning you know. it along with all of you all. I did do some training last year on it, but they didn't they didn't actually activate it with with the office um, until they activated it with the agents. So I never got to go in there and play until it was actually active with you. And that's why it's taken a little time for us to even talk about this because I didn't know what to talk about. <laughs> I, I, totally, know. I think they definitely roll this out. I don't say last. I know Coldwell Banker was first because I have several yeah. Coldwell Banker agents that are ready to join our company. But over the last several months, years, they said, I'm not joining you until you have Moxie work. So we have several agents coming over to our company because they were just waiting for this. So yeah. I'll let you take it with it. You go run with it. You tell me when to click the slide. So go ahead. Well, the first, there's different parts of Moxie Works, and Moxie Works is a whole system that connects together. Um, for your CRM and your marketing material and such uh, for your clients, where before we have Business Builder and Zap who talk to each other, but then you have Toolkit CMA, and then you have the MyC21 site, and everything is independent of each other. Pretty much Moxie uh, is all connected, so it's all together, which is nice, and they have other platform things on there that are nice too. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today uh, for this session is Moxie Engage. Moxie Engage is your CRM. The thing that is cool with Moxie Engage is that everything, once you get it set up and it's working, flows. So you can go to the next screen. Okay, next. This is talking about Moxie Engage um, and how it looks when you first log in. So where you start your day, I mean, this is, I didn't really have to build this. I just had to click the little things and put them in this, this presentation because they already did it for me. Um, this is what it looks like when you first join, uh, log into Moxie Engage. When you first get in there, it's gonna ask you what your goals are. So what is your uh, goal uh, for income for the year? And you put that in and it's going to track your progress according to what you're doing inside Engage. So it's really important. And this goes along with everything that we've been talking about for the last few weeks, right? Getting your all your office, your real estate office organized and where do you work? Right in here is where you're gonna work. You're gonna, it connects to your Google Calendar. So I think that's fantastic because I'm always in Google Calendar. But the start your day. Um, when you when you turn when you open it up, it's going to show you what is going on. Um, if you have sales, if you don't, if you don't have anything going on, these numbers are going to be negatives. And then you know you need to start working and doing something. Um, go to the next slide. Sure. So 
this is the goal setting that I'm talking about, right? It's going to ask you what you want to achieve. Um, isn't that what we all want to do? We want to see it right in front of us. So we know this is what we want to achieve. And now we know we have things that we have to do to get there. Um, so this is going to set you up in that very way. Again, this is the stuff that we've been talking about for the last few weeks. And also at the end of last year, uh, Tony and Mike had the business plan, which I also have available if anybody needs it. Um, uh, even if you get ready for the following year, because we're in August already, but you can still set this up this year. It's you, if you want to set yourself up this year to get to the end of the year with a smaller goal than what your normal year goal would be, that's fine. And you can always change this, um, and adapt it as you grow, go to the next page. Sure. Um, here, this is the cool thing. So it's called neighborhood news. Um, when you put people into Engage, which also connects to your Gmail or your Outlook. So any person that you have in there will automatically sync over there. So you're not putting things in 10 million places. Oh my God, I got to remember to put that person in my phone. I got to put them in my email. I got to put them in the MLS. I got to put them in the CRM. It's too much. So you put them in your phone. Your phone says, do you want to save to Google? You say yes. It automatically goes to your Gmail as a contact and it goes into Moxie right then. One step. Everything gets put into here. Once you get them in there, you're going to organize them accordingly. Friends, family, past clients, buyers, sellers. Uh, maybe they're just vendors, but people that you want to stay in touch with. Um, Neighborhood news is something that is just a click away for you. You just click on, yes, I want this person to get neighborhood news. And it is like a mini little market report that comes to your client about their area. The cool thing about this is I set it up for myself. When I first did engage, I got an email the very next morning with my first neighborhood news about my neighborhood and what is happening in my neighborhood. That is fantastic. You can also set up different neighborhoods. So maybe you have a buyer that's interested in Pepper Pike and Solon and Beechwood and Woodmere, and they don't know where they wanna live, but they like those specific areas. You can put those zip codes in and they will get the neighborhood news for all of those areas sent to them once a month. You that's don't have awesome. to do anything but turn on a button and put some numbers in. That's it. That's awesome. I Next. think so too. <laughs> Next. Um, to get to Moxie is a little bit difficult. Originally, I told you to go through the C21 University because that's what they told me to tell you. The C21 University uh, links to get started with Moxie don't work. So I'm sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> if you go into your productivity hub and you go down and select Moxie Engage, um, at the bottom of the page on the right hand side is a little widget and it says this get started with Moxie Engage. Click on that, it will take you to a setup page where you put your information in, put your license number in the brand that you work for, and it's all free. So you're clicking enroll for free because this is all free. And then once you get that done, it'll give you a little portal to their mini university for Moxie where you can learn about Engage. The videos are not very long. They're a couple minutes each. And when you get to the bottom, they're gonna ask you to take a quiz because they wanna make sure that you were paying attention to what, how to actually work through the system. And then you will be able to click on that icon that says access Moxie Engage. And that's how you get in there. Um, there's also videos. There's uh, a whole lot of stuff that goes on inside Engage. They have campaigns that you can send out, your auto emails that you can set up um, for your clients. There's so much involved in this one particular thing, but I did want to talk about this for a couple minutes today to get everybody up and started. I feel that you need to start with Engage first, and then we'll be talking about the other products later. Um, one thing I do want to let all of our Century 21 Homestar agents know that if you're using Business Builder and Zap, they are going to be read-only 
on December 31st. They want everyone going into here. So get uh, acclimated with it. You can call me. We can go through some stuff together if you want to. Uh, but by December 31st, Business Builder and Zap are going to be read only. So you need to switch over to this program. It is totally free for you. They do have one thing that you can um, upgrade in the Engage system, and it is a phone and text dialer. So if that is something that you're paying for now, um, when you get into Engage, you can click on that little button and you can do it all right through Engage. I believe it's like $50 a month for the agents. So it's not too, too bad, but you don't have to pay. It's an option. You don't have to use it unless you want to. Um, as far as I know, that's the only pay uh, option for Engage that they have to enhance anything for this particular program. Uh, things may come in more later. I know that they're every single time I go into one of these things, they're adding more and more things to it. So the campaigns are all there. I'm sure the emails are uh, the already pre-done emails will be um, enhanced and they'll add more fun things to it too. And then we also have the option to add some things for you guys if you want. So if there's something that you're not seeing in there, please feel free to let me know um, so I can find out if they're gonna do it or if we can do it for you with the office. But kind of that's the end of my thing today because I just wanna talk about one of these things at a time um, because I don't want you to get overwhelmed with it. No, basically, it's, it's a learning process. It's the great thing about all of this technology is that it's so, I'm using the term robust. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many levels to it. So it's going to take you time. It's not just an easy, it's not just like a contact management system. Add the people in, put it in the calendar. It's a lot of auto automated things, but just like anything else, you can kind of uh, sift it through and only use certain portions of it, but don't do that. I mean, the whole point is, is all uh, the automated emails, the, the neighborhood reports, the texting. So really take some time to learn all of it. Like I just got myself, I'm saying I got a, a new Apple watch and I, I go, I still got it. I'm using just the basic stuff. I'm a really soon, probably the next few days or so. Take some time to find out all the things it can do because <laughs> I don't want to find out like two years from now. Oh, I could have been doing all that with it and it would have helped me keep more organized or more efficient. So learn about it first and meet with Debbie, talk, watch the videos, check everything it can do out. It might take you hours or days or weeks <laughs> to learn it all but then you'll feel comfortable knowing and then also with any technology watch for our updates from us or from century 21 because sometimes they as these uh, technologies new technologies come in they add things like here's this one and here's that thing and here's an add-on or uh, because when they roll this out then agents have more suggestions for them so as the years go on sometimes I have agents that go I didn't know we could do that with that because they added it after they learned that does that do you get that a lot with uh, Debbie as you train agents Yes, yes, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. They're going to be like this literally just rolled out a few weeks ago and they're adding things every time I go in there. Uh, one of the other good places that you can go to, um, they have a forum on the workplace for Moxie only. So you can go in there and see what others have talked about. Um, uh, that's where I learned a lot of the tips and tricks, to be honest with you, because Coldwell Bankers had it before us. So I was watching all the Coldwell Banker stuff on uh, Workplace because they're already doing it. So their their agents are asking their broker, you know, questions about it. That broker's going and getting the answers for it. And then he's posting them on the workplace. So I'm reading this stuff so that I can see, oh, good. I already have the answer right there, you know. And then there's also... Um, two people from Century 21 that are moderators for that particular part of that page. And if you can't find something, you can send a message to uh, Bob Patel is one of them. And that's someone that I've been talking to about certain things too, uh, when I have questions. And they're all really nice and they will help you. There is a <laughs> Moxie great. Works helpline. There, the, there's a little text line. They have a chat bot that pops up. 
Um, so there's lots of help there. Don't feel frustrated if you get lost. You can always call me and we can figure it out together until I get super proficient with this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really cool and I like it a lot. So. Well, that's great. Well, remember, reach out to Debbie, check 21 online. There's so much other great things on there too. And I know lots and lots of agents enjoy going on 21 online. I know there's several agents that uh, are busy with just doing their business and never get on there or rarely get on there because they don't know what's available to them. I have agents that have been doing the same business for 20 years and just don't think they need any technology, but if they just researched it a little bit and go, wow, I could have been way more efficient. I've been keep, keeping in touch with people. I could have been doing all of these things over years because. Uh, the last thing I'll say today is staying in touch with your sphere and your past business is crucial. There are agents that are out of the business today that used to be great. They used to do a lot of business and then something happened and they all of that past business, they never followed up with. They never got them on auto campaigns and emails and organized them. They just got business the old fashioned way, just people referring them to people and they'd never followed up with them. They have all of these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of past sales over many, many, many years. And then their business just dies. And I've seen it happen many times to agents and all over our industry. And that's the number one reason. I just don't understand how agents could have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sales over a career and the business just dies. You know how it is? They don't follow up. They don't. Right connect they don't stick stay in touch with their people they just think people are going to oh i sold them a house five years ago they'll call me again so think about it anybody watching this if you've been in the business more than a year and you've had a sale and when's did you talk to the person you had a sale over a year ago you better have you should have called them at least once <laughs> minimum but all the emails and the connections you could have made asking for referrals over the last year. And I know, don't feel bad. I would say 99.9% .9 of agents, even the busy agents, even the great agents watching this will say, yes, I have clients that have sold properties over a year ago, five years ago that I have not talked to in over a year or since an email or a mailer or text or stop by. But just imagine if you're in this business 10, 15, 20 years and you actually stay in touch with every single person, you'll have so much business you wouldn't even know what to do with. And, uh, and these are the technologies that help you do that. So uh, that's it for today. Anything else you want to add before we wrap it up today, Deb? Nope, I agree with that. I think, you know, I, I have agents every single day asking me about leads. And you all know that a lead is just a person who clicked or asked a question somewhere. It is our job as a real estate agent to nurture them and guide them and hold their hand. And you can't get a lead if you're not talking to other people to get to them, right? I, so. the, what I explain to agents is this, and, and I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm telling you with 30 years experience in leads and follow-up is that the internet leads, internet leads, people that don't know, not just, that are not referred to you, that don't know you, that never met you and just come on out of the blue. The, there's agents out there that are, are doing okay or well with that. Those agents, I, 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 this is my 100% honest opinion. Any agent that says they get leads online and they're doing great realtor.com, or Zillow, and they go, ah, I'm buying leads, or my office is giving me leads. They would do five times better if they involve, if they actually took that time and did it with people they know in sphere of influence and the people in their past and, and networking. I, I swear to you, I'm not, I'm, uh, is that it's a waste. My, I'm sorry, people hate it's a waste of time, internet <laughs> leads, because the, the, uh, it, the, the, it's right there. You search it. The best. Three to five percent turnover rate or closure rate of leads, online leads. That is a horrible number, but it's always been there. That means you have to be talking to a hundred people consistently that you got online, consistently follow up with a hundred people to get three or five sales a year out of them. You know, and it's kind of like, you know what those online leads are? There, I'm sorry to stand on my soapbox here. <laughs> know what they are? 
It's like gamblers. You ever talk to a gambler like, yeah, I went out to Vegas. I won a thousand dollars. Great. How much have you lost over right. the last 10 years going to Vegas? More. So those agents, when they go, I had five sales this year from online leads. How much time did you waste? And time is money. You'd be negative. If you gave yourself a salary, you would be negative money for the amount of time you talked to all those cold people and had to follow up with them. And then again, just like winning uh, go, go with the gambling, some people say, I won at roulette. Yeah, great. That was 100% by chance, just like an agent. I got an online lead and they would want to buy today. And I showed them a house. Yeah, that's one out of a million. Yeah. Or less than that, but why waste your time? So talk to me, talk to Debbie. We have, uh, in, in, in Deb, I mean, how many hundreds or tens of thousands of leads that have gone out to our agents over the many, many years? And the percentage is just, it's just a waste of time. But I, we give them out. And we have agents that love them. But if you really took the time to do it the referral way and meeting people and networking with people and stay in touch with people and putting your time into that, that equals a business. There are some successful agents, very, very, very successful agents that never put a dime into buying leads, online leads. It's all by referrals and their sphere and building that. That's a business. If you were all, if agents are referring or uh, are uh, relying on their company to give them all of their leads, if they're relying on a, a, a new business all the time and not referral business, you're going to die out soon. It's kind of like a restaurant. If they're only in business because of new customers and not doing a good job and having those customers come back and referring them to other people, they, that restaurant's going to die out. That's like your business. So at the end of the year, if you did well, think about where all those leads came from. If they came from online, if they came from something you bought and they didn't come from referrals or people that you went out and asked for business, you're going to die out eventually. You can't survive a whole career, a whole lifetime in real estate with just brand new business that you buy. Hopefully that makes I, sense. <laughs> I agree. And I know we went off on a tangent on this, but it yes. does, it does all come around in a full circle and it all has to do with what we're talking about because your engage system is where you're engaging with people um not saying that you know an internet lead can't get you somewhere but what he's talking about all especially and we're talking to newer agents because you don't know what it's like before the internet right before the internet people didn't have the internet to get a lead or to search for homes. They called an office and that's why people had floor time. That's why they had agents inside the, the office to answer the phone. Um, I can tell you, uh, someone asked me once about, well, don't you do any floor time? And I'm like, we don't have floor time because there's no need for it. The phone doesn't ring like that. When right. Zillow and realtor.com took over the media a few years ago. I, I think it was like around 2017, would you say, Tony, when the phone yeah. stopped ringing in the office and I was like, the phone's not People, ringing. What's going yeah. on with the phone? The phone is not ringing because Zillow and Realtor.com took over the media and they told everybody to go to the internet. Well, that's that's exactly, no, I, that's exactly why I tell agents and especially new agents, this is honestly the best time in history for an agent to get in real estate. The sky's the limit. 30 years yeah. ago when I got in the business, there was no internet. We barely had cell phones. Everybody had the office sign, uh, the office number on their sign because no one had their own phone. And would and the companies would have the company come and we had floor time. It was great. I sat in the office. I did all the floor. I did more floor time than anybody. Did a lot of business. These were leads that were going for other agents in our business office going to me because I happened to be picking up the phone. That's how the business was. And the companies had the money. We had to advertise in the paper and on uh, in the in the magazines and the in the the TV and all that. It, Individual agents didn't have the money to compete with the advertising. Today, you can compete with very little or free, zero money with advertising yourself as an individual agent than better than a company can. 
So you have all of that and the consumers today are picking agent and hope. And this is my honest uh, opinion is that they're picking agent and making sure that like, I like this agent, make sure they're with a company that I recognize, I trust and know that they're going to do it. They're with a great company because if they're looking then a lot of agents go, sorry to tell you this again, my opinion is that when agents say, Hey, it, it's me. It doesn't matter my company. You are 100% correct if they don't see another agent. But if you, right. if that agent, if that buyer or seller says, hey, or they have two referrals or see two names, they go, Joe Smith and Tony Geraci here. I know them both the same. I see them both advertise the same, but I know their company more and I've seen their company around more and I trust their company. They're going with that. So I tell agents this, and I'm sorry, it's not just Century 21, but if you, you don't know how much business you've lost because they never even called you. They yep. never even called you. So if you have a friend that goes, hey, I have two friends in real estate. One, Tony over here, Century 21, and Joe Smith over here with ABC Realty. And give Because some people recommend two agents. You never got the call that, that your friend or your referral referred your name. You never got that call because it never came to you. It never knew. So again, these are um, just, we went off on way on a tangent, but <laughs> any of these topics, uh, Debbie and I are happy to talk to you. All right. We're hitting a half hour mark here. <laughs> yeah. This is probably hours. our longest one, right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be our shortest one. It's so, so, yeah. <laughs> you never know. You never know. So, well, thanks, uh, Deb, for the information. Reach out to either of us. Debbie definitely knows more about MoxieWorks as I have not. I know about it and I know what it can do, but I don't know how to get into it and use it. That's what Debbie's expert at or becoming the best expert in our office, but also on the all online resources too, but more to come. So reach out to us if you need anything. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Deb. Bye, everybody. Have, have a good day. Bye-bye.